Okay. Let's go. I forget what I was doing, and probably more ability missions. Don't really know. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, no, I upgraded ice. Oh, heist. More skating, huh? Sounds like fun. Let's go. Oh, wait. By high-speed skating, I thought they meant using the... Oh, hi there, Scoop. Welcome. I thought they meant using this ice attack. But I guess it's just basic movement. Doing some challenges, and then I'm fighting a boss. Pretty pog. Yo. I like how he skates. Reminds me of freaking Mario Galaxy. When you, like, spin on ice. This one's easy. Oh, man. Look at all those boulders. Yo. Yeah, we got Scoop here. That was pretty easy. It's really cool, and possibly one of the greatest Kirby games ever right now. At least for me. I can't really... Like, if you ask me what are my top Kirby games, I don't know if I'd be able to place this quite yet, but... It's definitely up there, just like how Mario Odyssey is up there when I first played that game. So, yeah, it's, like, really cool. And, honestly, it's a lot better than I even anticipated. Because, like, obviously, I was expecting it to be fun. Because it's, like, you know, Kirby. But, like, they really nailed it with the 3D. Like, all they can do now is just, like, expand upon what made this one good. Basically. Oh, we got car. Speed and swerve. Come here, circuit. Definitely, I, I don't know about Triple... I like Triple Deluxe a lot, but I think this is better than Triple Deluxe. At least so far. Kirby's Adventure, that's a classic, but I don't know if I'd rank that in my top, even though it is a fun game. To be honest. Definitely is a classic, but... If we're talking, like, best, like, classic Kirby game, then I would say Kirby's Adventure, but for me, Kirby Superstar is still better. Ah, oh, crap. And Roborbot, I don't really know, because I didn't really get to give that game a huge shot. Only got to play the first couple of worlds, and then my 3DS crapped out on me, so... I don't know. Oh yeah, I should probably factor in the hit lag here. But it probably doesn't matter that much. Like it does for the racing. Oh my god, dude. What the, what the hell? How do they expect me to turn here? Okay. Without stopping. Yo. Okay. Okay, that was, that was just a dud. Gonna, not gonna get the time. Also, for these, you can get a target time, but it actually doesn't really give you anything extra. I just like going for them. They're fun. Yeah, Triple Deluxe was awesome, and I hear Robobot was even better. Damn. Come on. Okay, you know what? Keep going. I can do it. I think I just gotta stop. At the one part. Even though that sounds counterintuitive. Like, I'd probably get a better time. 
skip those guys, get a better time. The bridge is where it gets crazy. <laughs> Oh god. Oh god, okay. Damn it! Have you played Kirby Superstar Ultra though? That's my question for you. Because that is one of the pink Kirby escape one of the most pink Kirby games, in my opinion. Even better remake than Nightmare in Dreamland. So, that is the first Kirby game I played, actually, I think, so... Both are really good. Oh, okay. Stop! Stop there. Oof. No! No! Oh. Ah. What? You didn't have Super... You didn't play Superstar Ultra? Squeak Squad is alright. It's kind of a weird one, because it's like... I mean, not like the best Kirby game, but it's also just, you know, a fun game. So, like, I honestly... As much as people have problems with that one, because it reuses stuff from, like, Kirby and the Mary Sing Mirror and, like, other games, like, I didn't really think that was that bad for me, because I never played Amazing Mirror. I played Squeak Squad, sir. I, I never played Amazing Mirror, and only first played it with the Ambassador program on 3DS, so I never even got to play that one. Didn't even know it existed until it, it, there was a sticker. That mentioned it in Brawl, and I was like, oh, that's a game that exists. <laughs> Don't know how, I never knew about it, but yeah, it was a game. Certainly was a game that existed. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I like Amazing Mirror from what I played of it, but I didn't get that far. Yeah, definitely play Super. Wait, are you okay? Uh, no. One second, yeah. Superstar Ultra is awesome, because, like, it fixes design, like, weird enemy placement from Superstar. Has, like, really good graphics. Amazing new modes. Fun abilities. Wait, how close do I have to freaking be to the car? Basically, everything you would want in a Kirby game. The original Kirby Superstar was pretty fun, but... Superstar trumps it in basically every way. I mean, Superstar Ultra. There's no reason to play the original. It's an amazing remake. Also, the cutscenes are cool. Okay, I have mastered the art of stopping. Now I just have to master the art of jumping this bridge. Yeah. 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 Oh, I think I got it. Wait, what? How the hell am I'm angry. I have to look this up now. I am obsessed with getting the target time. Okay, you know what? I'm I'm YouTubing this. How how do I do this? How is that worse? Speed and swerve. Conveyor circuit. I need to get the target time, boys. Oh man. I'm angry. How did I... How do I freaking get it? Okay, I don't know. 
This guy got it in 38 seconds. Bro, you dropped robot? Uh, what? So, um, to be fair, I, um, yeah, I don't know, but, to be honest, they should, I'm still waiting on a freaking HD collection of all the freaking, like, Return to Dreamland, freaking, oh yeah, by the way, Return to Dreamland is one of my favorites, personally, like that one a lot, it was a great return to form for the series. But Triple Lux was just as good. Yeah, I hear Robobot's like one of the best games. It basically superseded what Triple Lux did good in like every way or something. From what I've played of it, it's pretty amazing. Oh, I can do that without stopping. Maybe that saves me a lot more time. I don't know. This has to be it, right? Damn it. Damn it. Okay. Dust off your Wii U and beat Return to Dreamland. Okay, actually... I, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't get, I didn't beat Return to Dreamland either, but I got close. It was around the charm, it was around, yeah, definitely. I'd watch you play some Scrimlo games, man. They're fun. Also, I can't wait to do Back to the Future, um, the game again, so that's gonna be on hold until I, uh, beat this game, because I want to do it before all the spoilers roll out more. You know. And plus, it's Kirby. I have to play it when it comes out. So, yeah. My plan is to just stop everything else I'm doing right now to play this game. Let's go. Wait. Yo! Yo! Hi! Wonder, did you get to play more? Did you play it, or...? Honestly, I'd watch you stream it instead of me. You'd probably do better, Kappa. Just saying. But then again, you wouldn't look for all the cool little secrets like I do, so... I don't know. So am I not supposed to jump on the conveyor belts? Actually, the ones that pull me forward make me go fast, so I don't know. Uh, I hate these conveyor belts. Maybe the conveyor belts make me go faster, I don't know. Yo, I think I did it! Okay. There. Got him. Oh, you meant to jump at the end of them. I thought you were saying jump around them by skipping them. Actually, I'm gonna be right back. I left my water in the living room. Gotta get myself some water here. Back! And, um... Let's go to Waddle Dee Town. The greatest hub world ever. Okay, maybe not, but I like it a lot. Gonna do a uh, code. I can't use the same code 
choice, right? Also, according to my brother, there's a code in the theater. Which I probably didn't even notice. Wait. Oh, wow. I never even noticed that. Kirby story. Oh, a new movie? Any... Huh? There's more... Oh, yeah, I guess... Oh. Boss encounters are cutscenes, too, I guess. Brawl at the mall. Tropical terror. Danger under the big top. And a sword-finding rival appears. Yeah, I don't think so, either. It's just, I don't think the game will freaking tell me which codes I used and which ones I didn't, so, like... Don yeah, it's freaking Donkey Kong. He even does the freaking spinning Kong move as one of his attacks. He's just like, Ooh. That is my Zachman impression. You're welcome. Cop. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what? When did it? What? Yo, why? Bruh. That is so considerate of them. They must have saw how much annoyance I was having on the the nightmare of the Frosties. Wow. Okay. It's like I didn't even lose any. Pog. Well, now you do because I freaking died like ten times trying to respawn and do the Frosty boss without da without freaking losing health. Okay. Um. Let's try the GameStop code again. That's a check. Do 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 do. GameStop can. Oh wait, I have to enter frickin' Kirby, too. Kirby GameStop can. I like how that's the code that awarded you the least amount of things. Very fitting of GameStop. Oh, okay, yeah. Just wanted to check. I should make, like, a checklist to make sure I didn't use all the codes. I mean, to make cheap track of which codes I used. Kirby story. Wonder what they're gonna give me for this one. Yo, we got a FedEx package. UPS over here. Ouch, that's coins. Okay, well, that's cool. Okay, um... Kirby... Oh yeah, actually hold up real quick. Let me just do the My Nintendo thing on freaking the Forgotten Land website. Just cause I can. I, I need... I need to freaking get the My Nintendo points in the free code. Hold up. Doing this midstream, everybody. You can just watch Kirby sleep or something while I'm doing this. Actually, I should just Google. Kirby in the Forgotten Land My Nintendo hidden thing. I don't know. Just to speed it up.
Where is this freaking thing? Okay. I gotta click on a car, guys. When's Kirby falling asleep? I thought he could do that. Now let's make him do this instead. Say that one. Okay, there. Oh wait, there's one more. Crap. Yeah, Kir um, Kiro's made it for me. It's pretty cool. He also did a new banner and stuff. Pretty sick stuff. Okay, got all the My Nintendo thingies. And now with this code I shall use, I will get free stuff. Let's go. Yeah. Hi there, CF. Welcome to the stream. Yeah. If you need some cool stream, stream graphics, you'd probably want to hit him up. Because he's pretty good for that. Yeah, I talk to him from time to time. He's pretty cool. Okay. Let's go. Okay, that's a good upgrade. Not not a lot of coins, but I mean they gave me an attack power boost thing. So that's good enough. Okay, who's the boss? We will fight him. Um... Wait. That's not s- Oh my god, what? What? I thought I was fighting Silly Dello or something. I'm fighting freaking DDD already? Okay, boys, this is it. This is the final stream. No, it's not actually. But yo, yo, da 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 da. I hope it has like. I mean, they probably are not gonna use a mass DDD again. again. He's not even masked, but uh, the max mass DDD is like quite possibly 
one of the best songs in the series, so I like it. Okay, wait. Unexpect. Let me just see the missions for this. What, what do they want me to do other than not get hit? Unexpected Beast King missions. You gotta do these missions to save the Waddle Dees, by the way. Smaller than. Oh. Clear without guarding. Clear within 1 minute and 30 seconds. Clear without taking damage. Okay. Oh my god, is that. Oh my god, Scott the Waz! Hey, Peter. I love that meme. Also, I think I'm just talking too loud because my voice keeps going red, so... I'm just gonna make it... 10. Yeah, that's what I figured. Wait, what is score bubble? Just link here. Oh my god. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> I love that video. I'm just gonna play it. Oh my god! Scott the Wise! <laughs> hey, Peter! <laughs> oh my god! Scott the Wise! Hey, Peter! <laughs> I like how Scott the Wise actually did that. His videos are pretty funny. I've been watching them recently. Um, I don't know what to use. I'll use Dragonfire, it's cool. It's just as beastly as DDD is right now. Wonder what, what, what he has to do with the beast pack. Why did he join them? And why is he in a freaking church looking castle? This is almost giving me like Mario Odyssey Ruined Kingdom vibes here. It's pretty swoopy. We're strong on this stream off strong, other than with random missions, I'm gonna fight King DDD, so that's pretty pog. Yo! Yo! Oh my god, he looks so cool. Oh my god. It even shows your ability in the cutscene. That's awesome. Yo! Yo, Met Frickin' Death Rock Remix. Oh, DDDC maybe? Ow. Oh my god, he did the thing! Wait, that's the frickin' Star Allies song, isn't it? Oh my god, he's swole! Yo, this music's sick. Oh my god, ow. Wait, how do I swallow his hammer? They wanted me to swallow his hammer? Didn't quite see this. Where is his hammer, actually? Did he... Oh my god, I actually died. What the heck? Ridley Kirby has fallen. Wow. I can't believe he beat me. Ridley versus DDD. I've, the only Kirby games I haven't played are Star Stacker, Super Star Stacker, Rainbow Curse, Wait, bruh. 
Wait, you can actually destroy his hammer? Is that what you're telling me? Hey, he's the fourth boss in the game, excuse me. Wait, are you serious, Nex? Oh, how do I eat it then? I want to eat the, the hammer. How do I swallow his hammer? Boom. Oh, I see. I'm gonna beef myself up now. Damn. Damn. Oh my god. Ow. Okay, no wonder I'm losing. You know what? Screw everything, I'm cheating. Screw everything, I'm cheating. Amiibo. Amiibo, yeah! Oh yeah, I also haven't played, um... Um... Oh my god, you frick- Okay, wait, it's just giving me a defense item. Are you kidding me? I don't want this. No, they do stack up. Oh, life up, never mind. Cheat it. Boom. Wait, bruh, are you kidding me? He does that much damage with the super hammer flip. That's almost cheap. Just gonna camp him. Wait, bruh! Oh my god, the hammer burns off if you charge it too long. Wow, you forgot Kirby 64. That's a great game! Ow. Okay, I didn't even need to do anything. You haven't beat Squeak Squad? That's so You can beat that game in like three hours. 100% Kappa. Oh, homing bomb. Should have gave me a hammer upgrade. Killing King DDD. Boom. Bruh, he's so chungusy. Look at him. Boom. Why would he kid kidnap his own men, though? Surely there's something sussy here. I played a little bit of, um, uh, what's it called? Oh, I beat it without guarding. Okay. Yeah, you should play Scrimlow games for sure. I play a lot of them all the time. Yo. Okay, that didn't answer any questions I had, but... We'll probably be fighting him again later. Now it's hype man. Now to just do that again without getting hit. Yo, it's way far away. Desert land. World 5. I don't know why he's fight. I I'm guessing he's mind controlled because like he, all of these waddledees are being kidnapped. That's the basic story so far. Wait, Elphalyn has been captured? Okay. I guess I missed that part. 
And desert levels are alright, in my opinion. They're not bad. They can be cool sometimes. I don't know, it depends. I don't hate them as much as other people, but some of them are pretty bad. Same with snow levels. Like, snow levels can be fun, too. Um. Okay, I guess I should probably be getting Ranger. By the way, Ranger is just Gun Kirby. If you don't know. Gonna fight him again to do some missions. Oh, what the heck? We got the carnival in town, never mind. I don't know what else to use other than freaking Ranger all the time. True. I mean, I could try fire again. That did me pretty well. Or the new bomb. That was cool music, man. Homing bomb just sounds like bomb, but good. Yo. Because I hate having to aim stuff. At least the way bomb aims. Like, Ranger is good aiming. Toss the homing bomb, then watch it. Get to work. It'll patrol the area until it spots an enemy, then race toward them and explode. Chain bombs together to corner your foes. Yeah, you can upgrade your abilities to make them cooler. So this is all I got so far. They're all pretty cool. I wonder when I'll get Sleep 2. The best ability. Okay. Yeah, New Super Mario Brothers had cool desert level. Yeah, I like the underground tunnel level. That was one of my favorite levels in that game. Though, to be fair, that also doesn't have a lot to do with deserts. But, I don't know, that's a cool level. It was like sewers almost. You don't really see that a lot in 2D Mario. Yeah, I had like a ton of piranha plants. Oh, yo, Forbidden Island. There was also like water and stuff. Oh yeah, I should pick that up, even though I don't need it. That'd be fun. Are you gonna play as Luigi though? Yo, they freaking drive on cars. Luigi tie. Okay. Oh crap. Ah. Uh. Oh damn it! Okay. 
That's gonna happen a lot. It's gonna happen a lot now. Gotta beat them without damage. That's a mission. You have to do it to save the poor Waddle Dee. This will be challenging, but it's worth it. Hey, it's entertaining at least. Don't, didn't you see how much I was suffering against the cat? I was screaming at that cat man. It was funny. Oh yeah, I can just freaking completely run away from them. The bombs will do it for me. I don't even have to focus on hitting him. The bombs. The bombs will freaking deck him. Oh my god, the freaking running attack. Uh. Okay, I'm not I'm not prepared when he goes and runs at me. That's the problem. And this MD BGS is awesome. And I still have to play NSMB2 and we and you. God damn it. I gotta make sure I don't lose my abilities too. Okay, we're going back to what will he go? Are we going back? Oh boy, this is gonna take a little bit. Possibly 20 minutes. Elflin got captured by King GDD? That sounds odd, even for him. I hope they're both okay. We can't just stand around. Let's go save Elflin. You mean, I'll save Elflin. You'll just stand here in town. All day. Oh yeah, actually, screw DDD. I'm going to the carnival. I'm going to the carnival. What is over here? Also, there's no freaking penalties for using power-ups, right? Next, because, I mean, I could... Wait a minute, this is just Kirby Tilt and Tumble. Get your hands on the latest, greatest game in town, Tilt and Roll Kirby. Come and try it out sometime, Kirby. This is Kirby Tilt and Tumble, isn't it? Oh yeah, speaking of which, never played that, never owned it, and it's only on Game Boy Color, so you won't find it anywhere. One of the more obscure Kirby games. I have played Kirby's Pinball Land, though, and Kirby, Kirby Block Ball. Those games are kind of fun. Albeit kind of generic. Stand in front of the game at my booth and press A to play. Oh god. Yeah, this is basically Tilt and Tumble. Oh, I want a reward. Yo, this is cool. I like the rumble. Finally, they're using HD rumble again. For good purpose. And you get to watch me tilt my controller around like an idiot. Oh god. Um. No! Wait, I have to use coins to play? No, at least it's only one coin. Yo! Go Kirby! I, 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 I got this. What the? I loved, bro, I loved Pokemon Pinball, actually. That was a fun game. I had good music. I, I don't know, I don't remember getting very hard in it, but it was fun. I had good music and stuff. Just, like, good time. Do 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 do. Bro, this game sucks. The only pinball video games I've played are Mario... Wait, not... No, not Mario. What am I saying? Um, Sonic Spinball and uh, Pokemon Pinball and Kirby Pinball. 
That's it. Bruh, $25. That's not worth it. Yeah, definitely. I want to beat these all. Wait, two of them? Oh god. Oh god. Wait, wait, I have an idea. Nope. Okay, I, um... This is stressful. I don't like this. Oh, this one's easy, never mind. Wait, do they have to both be in the goal with the same- oh, no. Yo! Bruh, I love Pokemon Platinum for $200. You mean $120? Oh no. Screw King DDD, we're, we're gonna beat the Kirby Tilt game. Kirby Tilt and Roll or something, I don't freaking know what it's called. Okay, that's freaking impossible. You can't get a straight line if you try. Yeah, I thought they'd roll out of the goal, and I was like, oh no. Bruh, okay, that was my fault. Oh my god! I'm not even trying to fail. Does it matter how slow I, I go? Maybe I'll just, like, very gently push Kirby? I don't know. Very gently? Not at all trying to speed him around? Okay. I don't think there's any target time or anything. I can just slowly nudge him. Oh god. No! That part was making me nervous, man. Kirby! Honestly, I, I really don't get the hate on the ball levels for Mario Galaxy. I honestly think they're kind of fun. What?! <laughs> he just fell through the freaking... He fell through the freaking... Um, I don't know. Honestly, the control isn't bad. I just kind of suck. I like motion controls. I'm not like a baby about them like other people are. It depends how they're implemented. If it's like freaking Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz, it's not really necessary. Like, it's kind of cringe to use the Wii Remote to play a game like Monkey Ball, in my opinion. Like... I get what they were going for, but like, it just feels weird tilting the stage around with a stick. But right here, it's more natural because you have like a normal controller, not just a stick. Also, you don't even tilt it sideways in Monkey Ball Banana Blitz, you just freaking hold it like this. Like a TV remote. It's so weird. Okay, come on. Just gently meander it around. Gently. Please be gentle, Scoob. Oh my god, I hate this. Bruh, hello. Okay, but play, po play Poke- uh, Pokemon. Uh, play Monkey Ball Tilt and Roll. Or, whatever, what is it called? Tilt and roll? No, no, step and roll. I uh, 
That might be a cool game, right? It, this is a Wii Balance Board. Just get yourself a balance board for $200 billion. Yeah. I actually kind of want to play that, but there's no way to properly emulate it because, I mean, how am I going to get a frickin' foot sensor? Who frickin' hook your, like, Wii balance board to Dolphin? <laughs> no. No. Aha! Yeah! Okay, is that it? Go ahead. That's it. That didn't take that long. Wait, what? Oh no. Extra hard? Um. Okay, sure. Let's do it. What the hell? Step right up, step right up. This bottle of runs the town's favorite game, Tilted Roll Kirby. No, it's not it's not my favorite game, but the other Waddle-Dees love to play his game. In fact, they wouldn't stop asking him for more. That might explain why he added the daunting extra hard difficulty. Um Let me be- I'm gonna be right back real quick. I just gotta find my phone, just in case I need- Yeah, but I wanna beat it. Optional? What do you mean optional? Everything I have to 100%, man. Also, yeah, there's gotcha figures. Gotcha pun. And I'm back. Well, I am a completionist, so I will do it. Bro, that made the music a lot more stressful. Eh, it doesn't seem too bad. in my PC. Low battery. Wait, I... Uh, honestly, I don't think I want to. As much as I love target time challenges, I don't think I want to this time. I don't want to. At least not right now. If I want to torture myself, I'll do it on my own time. As much as that price sounds really good to me, 700 free coins, I don't want to torture myself with that. Because that sounds way hard. Oh my god, I hate this. I hate, th I hate all of this. No. Kirby. Oh my god. To get those times, you likely have to be reckless. 
And that's kind of hard in a game with motion controls that are very precise. Oh god. Go! Okay. Oh god. Home stretch. Home stretch. Yeah! Okay. Oh, I got the coins! Okay. Now for that final stage. It is, um, not that different from the regular one, actually. They want me to be in 30 seconds? Is that what you're telling me? I don't know. I mean, they just added a couple Gordos. How hard could it be? Oh man, that one at the end. Making me nervous, though. Yeah! Wait, the guard ra Oh no, I didn't notice. I didn't notice. Okay, now we just go in monkey ball here. We're, we're taking off those... But frickin'... Yeah, I knew you would say good. Frickin' monkey ball guy. He's getting his... His monkey ball 3D PTSD trauma flashbacks. So he hates... <laughs> so he hates the guardrails. <laughs> the monkey ball 3D flashbacks. Guardrails everywhere. Oh, at least they have them in the middle. Because I'm not taking that straight road. I can kind of do it without the guardrails, honestly. It's just hard with tilt controls. Just saying, this would be a lot better without motion controls. Imagine somebody playing this on the freaking Switch Lite. How are you going to see the game at all? Freaking tilting your screen around like an idiot. You can't even see the game. Because you're tilting your game. The whole ass screen. I'm using tilt control. Oh, I'm getting that 999 voice. You can't stop me. Getting kinda good at it. Just gotta slowly meander Kirby around. Yo. Yo! Oh, I had that! I'm good at- I'm kinda good at this, though. Not gonna lie. I'm not gonna brag, but I'm kind of good at this. <laughs> I say as I die. Bonk. Bonk. Aw. Oh. Oh my god, you f Kirby, you suck. Five coins is a little steep, in my opinion. Probably using, like, 200 bajillion dollars. The only reason those prices are so steep is because you'll spend so many coins trying to replay this again. Ah, oh, you little, you little banana! I like how I always dodge that bottom border by like a hair. Okay, back to the best part. Ah, oh, you. Yeah. No. My controller is all sweaty for motion controlling it. It's kind of gross. Okay. Turbo, you got this. 
Ah, you little bad guy. I feel like I'm good with like a gentle motion control movements at times. I feel like doing the target time is probably easy to be honest. Even at your slowest speed. Like how can you possibly mess it up? It takes like 13 seconds just to get to the last part. Hey! 99 coins! I'm a champ! Boom! Beat it in like 10 minutes. Motion control champ! Right here. To be fair, I have played a lot of Wii games. Oh, you, you get three rare stones, though. That's pretty cool. Okay, now I just gotta beat this time. I could probably do that. You can't even fall other than at the end, so I don't know why I did that so slow. Boom. Oh my god, I have so many coins now. I guess that's it. Now we will try to fight DDD again, I guess. Oh yeah, does the arena have anything new? I forgot to check that out. Nah, it's still just the Meta Knight Cup. I beat all those curvy tilt stages in like 20 minutes. Ah, oh, so you only get like a basic, uh, freaking basic B-word arena. And then later you get the actual arena. Sad. Okay, I thought it would be like freaking Kingdom Hearts, like, Coliseum or something, where you gradually get more as you play the game or something. I don't know. Like, maybe it would eventually just build up to the actual arena. Like, that'd be cool, like... I don't know. I just like a lot of Coliseum, man. Can't wait to do a Kingdom Hearts Anniversary stream, and I just say, Oh yeah, by the way, I'm playing Chain of Memories for it, not Kingdom Hearts 1. I think this remix is from Triple Lux, right? Or Starlight or something. I don't know. This song is definitely familiar. Oh god. Quick turnaround and bomb throw track. Oh my god, he's gonna kill me, man. Turn around, turn around, turn around. I mean, that's fine, I can keep running. Star allies, anyway. 
Gotta get ready to dodge that. It's gonna be a bit harder. Honestly, I could use hammer, but I think I would get hit. Oh yeah, I could keep throwing these to hit them. I think I'll just go slow and steady here. Damn it! Okay, I wasn't ready for that attack. I think I'm doing pretty good with bomb though. Pretty good with bomb. Try that again. You know, I'm supposed to jump over the attack where he frickin' swings around his, um, what's it called? The frickin' pillar, right? Wait, he didn't hit me, did he? I guarded that, I think. Did he hit me? I can't even tell. The health bar appeared, but... I don't think it actually hit me. God damn it. That was an easily dodgeable attack. I am a dumb. Okay. DDD, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna clap for that, dare, DDD. Honestly, this is an easier freaking climb to the boss than the freaking Chloraline boss fight, because I feel like it takes forever to get there. For DDD, it feels like it takes way less time. So that's good. I'm not as mad at DDD as I was at that cat, honestly. God damn it. I'm getting reckless. Getting reckless, but I wanted to throw more bombs at him to do more damage. Because you can't really do damage unless you're chaining. This is just the DDD and Tilt Ball stream, isn't it? That's okay. I think I can play a little more of the next world, too, when I get to it. Where are you? Yo, look at that Woofy. He's stuck. He is stuck like Goofy when he's walking into a wall. A wall or something. A Woofy, more like a Goofy. Yeah, that does so much more damage. It's just actually doing that is hard. Without getting hit anymore. Yeah, the dash. He, for some reason, I can't predict that. Even though it's obvious, like he does his jumps and then he does his dash attack. Like, duh. I don't know. I easily fall for his, his reads. We gotta do this, boys. I also wonder how I'm gonna beat the boss in one minute and thirty seconds. But that shouldn't be nearly as hard. It's not going to be with Bomb, that's for sure. 
You know what? Actually, what if a drill? It was pretty good against those Frosties. And I can use it to evade damage. Didn't really think about that. Boom. Oh man, it is fast too. Okay, that didn't quite work. Okay, just, just get away. Drill time. Look how much damage I get already. That's a lot of damage. Boom. It's easy when he does that attack, too, because frickin' leaves him open. Yeah! I wouldn't have thought of this um, unless I did, because I, of the Frosties I did earlier. Like, I had to beat a freaking mid-boss. It was actually surprisingly difficult, yo. But I used Drill to evade the damage. Wait, what the hell? Hey, I wasn't, how was I supposed to know where he was gonna use that thing? Screw you, man. Okay. I have a good strat now. Better strat than bombs. Is it me or is it digging a little faster than his regular speed too? Maybe a little bit anyway. Frickin' pencil. Funny. I am a mole. You will fear me. Boom. Due to the way the camera is in this fight, it's really easy to see where I'm freaking going to do this, too. Because the camera just kind of circles around me. Actually getting the circle around him is kind of hard. Oh, it doesn't even have to go in the middle of him. I could just kind of do it near him. I thought I had to, like, do it in the center to actually hit it. Okay. Oh, God. Yeah. Okay. He kind of be sounding like Smash DDD right now. When he's like, Arr! Okay, get ready to jump. Or not? Oh, he does a swing, and then he does the jump. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. That's scary, man. That attack's scary. Damn it! Why did I do that? Shoot! Okay. That was close. 
Float over what? Oh, the freaking ice attack? I thought I had to get exactly on the freaking crack of the ground that wasn't going to hurt me. Well, that's helpful to know. Honestly, if I don't think I'm close enough, I might just jump because that's safer. You know, I wonder how ice would be. I could try that, too, because the new ice power does seem pretty good. Like, it freaking puts snowmen everywhere. Didn't even really try that yet. Boom. Just make a bunch of freaking circles to kill DDD. That is the secret to killing DDD. Just make a freaking dumb circle. First you draw a circle, then you dot the eye. Damn it. I got this. I'm getting really close to figuring out the trick here. To beating DDD without damage. Bruh, you're right, this is basically just Pokemon Ranger, except we're using circles to kill people, instead of freaking catch Pokemon. I played a bit of that game, it's pretty fun. Even though it's like, who would think of this kind of game? Like, drawing circles around Pokemon to catch them? Who thinks of this stuff? But it is kind of fun. It's like Pokemon Snap. It doesn't sound like it would be fun, but it is fun. Taking pictures of Pokemon? That's ridiculous. Oh, wow, that's a good game. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I got you right where I want you. Name it. Didn't quite connect like I wanted it to. Yeah! Now this is where it gets tricky. Okay. Honestly, I might as well just do the eye. Now that I know that's the easy way to do it. Oh god. Damage! I almost killed him again. Yeah, I know, but it's easier to do the smaller ones, because I don't want to, like, risk... I, I really don't know how many seconds it is where he's underground and then pops out, but I really don't want to, like, do a Kingdom Hearts error moment and be like, oh no, I ran out of freaking underground. You know, actually, why don't I test it right here? One, two, three, four, five, six, six seconds, or like five seconds. So, I want to do like five seconds and then stop. Because, like, I don't want to be underground too long and then pop out and then get hit. Oh, roughly five seconds. Or maybe four. One, two, three, four, five... Yeah. Wait. Also, sometimes the circle does not even connect. Like I want it to. 
Bruh, he doesn't even do anything to you until you kill his whoopies. That's when he gets serious. You hurt me? No biggie. You hit my woofy? I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> he's protecting them. That's why he's hurting Kirby. It's an endangered species and Kirby is killing them all. That's the plot twist they're gonna go for. I know it. Why else would he not hurt Kirby until he hits the woofy? It's, it's lore, man. It's the new story. This game is actually to raise a woofy awareness to save the species before it's too late. Every day, people are hunting and killing a woofies. It's also why they have a tally, tally number for how many you've destroyed. Just to make you feel more bad. Yeah, I'm not good at connecting big circles. I feel like that's a problem. God damn it! See? I can't do large circles. It's, it's safer to just do the baby tiny ones. Because I just do it when he uses the attack. And then I come out and then I'm like, ow. God damn it, I hate you, BDD. Actually, I love DDD. He's one of my favorite characters ever. But I don't like him right now. Yo, okay. There we go. I also have to know when to use it to dodge and when to use it to attack. Oh yeah, that did a lot more damage. Oh, I missed. Okay, the annoying part starts now. just dodge all of his attacks by going underground with this. Are you kidding me? That is so cheap. Oh my god. Okay. I actually, I didn't hit him, but I mean, I could. Um, maybe like 20 minutes. Probably not that long. Definitely not longer than the cat. No, I didn't dig fast enough. He's not hard. That's it's just the mission. I already beat him. I have to beat him without getting damaged to save this waddle dee. That's what you have to do to save all the waddle dees in this game. Gotta beat bosses without getting damaged. It's harder than you think. At least for someone who's never tried to no-hit a Kirby boss until this game, so, like, I don't know. The Waddle-E has to be saved. It's part of my completionist nature to save them all. We have to free him. It is very important. Oh, crap. 
I like how he doesn't hit you until you hit him. Very gentlemanlike. Boom. DDD is a true gentleman. Boom. Boom. Boom! Okay, we already at this part. Let's go. even out of the ground yet. Does, like, digging underneath where he is get, hit, hit me? I don't get it. I think I just went too close to him and then got hit somehow, even though he's above the ground. Like, I think that still counts as a hit. You can't just go around... You, you have to go around them. You can't bump into them, I guess. Maybe. Because I'm pretty sure I still had time under the ground before I hit him. Or I should probably be timing it now. Like, one, two, three, four, five. Or whatever. But I also want to make the perfect circle now. One, two, three. Two, and yeah, that was the new one. One, two, three, four. No. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Free hit. One, two, three, four, five! Ah, uh, I missed. Um. Uh, I hate you! I hate you! Okay. Oh, hey there, Elysian. If that's your real name. Oh, crap. Whoops. Get off the screen, you stupid. Okay. No! Why does it do that? This freaking. Trying to check the chat windows. To make sure these accounts are not sussy. Okay. Two point seven K videos, no No videos. That's sussy, we're banning them. Ban them. Okay. I'm banning the view bots now because apparently you're not supposed to have them. They're sussy. I will sit down to face DDD now. Need to focus some more. Also, I should probably just count in my head. It'd be easier. Wait, next. Does it penalize you for using a power-up? I could still get the Waddle Dee. Why would any innocent watcher have 5,000 followers? Or like 2,000 followers and no videos. That's incredibly sussy. Maybe he's like a retired streamer or something, but I doubt it. I think they're all sussy. Oh, okay. Time to cheat, boys. Using DDD himself. Wait. What? You, you, you joshing me right now? Oh, God. Let's go. Oh, wait. I already had that. I'm so stupid. I didn't even notice. Okay, I didn't actually use this. You didn't see anything. I had the item the whole time, and y'all didn't tell me to use it. What the heck, man? Oh, 
Okay. Maybe, but I just want to get it over with. I don't care. It's like using a freaking uh, stat boost in Kingdom Hearts or something. No harm in doing so. It is an item in the game. Not just from Amiibo. Bruh, I'm doing so much more damage. I almost feel sorry for him. Oh my god, this is almost too... too cheap. Look how much more damage I'm doing. The answer was cheating all along. Remember, kids, always cheat. Boom. Wait, can I see how Elphalyn got kidnapped? Or do I have to... Oh, okay. Boom. Oh, no, I have to watch that. I probably could have done that way sooner and saved a lot of time, but hey, you saw me getting close, so I thought, you know, it's still pretty cool. Okay, we're gonna do some original wasteland now. Whoops. Interesting. I'm guessing Silly Della was in this world. Mario Sunshine. Oh, the music's different again. I need to refill the water. Hmm. 
But I will just in case. This one doesn't seem hard. Anyway. Oh, it wants me to jump with this freaking chungus. Oh, I see now. Bro, this stage is so long. Surely the time limit isn't so um, cheap, right? Oh, god damn it. No, they want me to beat it in a minute and 20 seconds, so. Maybe it is stingy. God damn it! Might as well just beat it normally then. Wait, no! Bruh! No! He's dead. Chungus is dead, guys. Big, big Kirby, big Kirby, big Kirby. Big, big Kirby, big Kirby, big Kirby. Bruh. Jungle Nido! Why did I hear a Waddle Dee crying? Am I hearing things? Nothing. By the way, yeah, Waddle Dees do have noises in this game, you just haven't heard it yet. We will hear them soon. They have a very cute cry. Oh, what? I removed the chat. Oh no, I have to... Ah. Uh, okay. I'll have to freaking do the... thing again. I don't even remember how to put it back. Okay, let me just figure it out. Um, oh yeah, put in browser link. No. I don't want to do that. I forgot what size I had it at, though. That's the bad part. Okay, hold up. I have the link on this somewhere. Okay, got the chat. Just gotta add it. Browser. 400, 200. Let's try that. Oh no, that's way tiny. Damn it. I hate this. I also have to change the size. No. Definitely not that. Oh, that's kind of close to how I had it before, but... First of all, I gotta crop the send a message thing. And change the text size, too. Wait, can I change the text size? 
God damn it. Test. No, that's... What the hell? How, do, how did I do it? Oh, yeah. I, no. Ugh. Why did I remove that? Okay. I removed it by accident while freaking trying to do a thing. And now I don't know where it is. How to do it again. I forget how to freaking put my tab back up. And do it with, like, big text. Wait, what if I just made the size really big? And then cropped it. No, wait, wait. No, make it smaller, actually. And then maybe the text will be bigger. No. I don't know what I'm even doing. You know what? There. That's how I'll bring it back. Removing this. Just hit undo. What was I thinking? Okay, test. Is there a way to save this? Because I don't want to accidentally remove it again. Everyone spam test. So I can see that if the welcome to the chat room goes away. Okay, 192.500. I'll take a screenshot of this. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, that's pretty much perfect. <laughs> how I have it right here. No, damn it. I hate this freaking wire guy. Okay, this water state sucks. That doesn't take out too much time from this. God damn it! Okay. Okay, good enough. Bruh, how can he fit through that? Chungus Kirby made it somehow. Ah! Oh, I have to beat it in that time, too. Okay. Try again. I don't know if I'll have time for a full level, full level or not, so I'm gonna do some bite size challenges.
This goddamn button doesn't work. Okay, you know what? That was kind of stupid of me. You know what? Actually, just thought of the craziest thing. Do I even need to use that? Yeah, it does pause the timer, but... I have an, a crazy... I have the craziest idea. What if to beat the stage, we don't use... the freaking water mouth? At least not at the beginning. Maybe that's faster. Faster than walking around with the water Kirby, you know? Of course, I'm not gonna do that the whole time, because it's impossible, but... It also saves me on water. I'm a genius. Though I don't know if that actually was faster or not. I'll have to see. I was trying to float over the mud to go faster. Nope, I'm still full as a freaking whistle. I don't have to waste time walking back. Yeah, water. Oh, crap. Definitely faster than the first time, though. I don't know if it's enough. Damn, I had the right idea. Honestly, I think that's a good idea. Because that frickin' Chungus Kirby walks much slower, I think. There. That should do it. It's also accounting for times where the guy fell down and I missed the switch. That's what I think whenever it's like, da -da -da -da. I just like a freaking Daytona. Rolling Stars! You got this. My genius big brain plan must come into fruition. Yeah, that was faster. That was much faster. Don't care. Yeah. Boom! That is, don't use it at the beginning. That's what you do. Don't 
took like 10 minutes, but that's, it's all good. Now we will play an actual level, I think. Psych! Oh, bruh, scissor lift. Okay, we can scissor lift. It should be easy, right? Yeah, it's mostly just going forward. Is that a freaking diner? In the desert? Okay, I don't think there's any more of those right now. Yeah. Okay, let's go play a level. The what? The waste where life began. Don't know what that means, but it sounds like lore. Oh, yo, this level looks cool. They didn't expect it to look like the frickin' apocalypse. Let's go. Oh, yo, we got... Uh, advanced woofies now. Honestly, they don't appear in a ton of levels after the first world. I thought they'd be more common. Yo, yeah, look at that cute snake. Oh, what? Okay. I think I undid a bit too far there. Guess we got a good desert level, but then again, everything Kirby does is usually pretty good. Except for extra epic yarn. Kappa. Like, why add abilities to a perfectly fine game? It doesn't need them. I sense a secret. Is there anything up here? Why can I go over here? Okay, it's literally nothing. Thank you. It almost gives me Mario vibes here. Wow, this level is so open compared to, compared to other ones. It's kind of crazy. If it wants me to shoot three flying targets, I should just keep this power around. Is what I would say, but I lost that. Yeah, there's another one. That too. Freaking 2019 3DS bar. I forgot it was 2019. 
Like, they obviously knew the Switch was a success at that point. Why would they freaking make more 3DS games? Just saying. Unless they, like, specifically use features of the 3DS in, like, meaningful ways. There's really no reason for them to make 3DS games at that time. And I like the 3DS. Why are there so many areas where it looks like there's nothing, but I can go there? There has to be a secret around one of these things, right? Wait, where's the ring mount? Bro, this world, this level is so open. Yeah, the freaking Mario and Luigi remix didn't even have freaking 3D at all. What was the point of them being on the 3DS? Other than being portable. Which, you know, the Switch can do. If the... If Alpha Dream had the resources, they, they could have put it on the Switch, I imagine. Bro, this level is huge. I don't know if I'll get everything. I'm surprised by how open it is. Defeat the Lost Squishy. And for frickin' Pucci and Yoshi's Woolly World, they could've just waited for the 3DS. Cause that game released the same year. Just, like... I don't know. I was just sad, because I want Woolly World with those features in HD. And they dropped the ball. Wow, I can move the camera here. Wait, am I, why, why do I need this ring mouth anyway? What is it for? I'm very confused at what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, I can't, wait. Can I go to the boss with the ring mouth? Yo, ring mouth boss. Wonder if that's my mission. Fight a boss with a Kirby mouth. It's actually pretty strong, too. Yo! Defeat Florina using ring mouth! I knew it! I'm a genius. Boom. I could have figured that anyway. Because, like, you don't usually get to fight bosses using the Kirby mouth, so I thought that sounded funny. Now I just have to find those flying tar targets and wallabies. I like how, unlike Odyssey, Kirby, you, you clearly see Kirby in his transformation being like, Yeah, I got a, a collectible. In Mario Odyssey, it bothers me, because, like, Mario just, like does the regular animation. Like, why can't they do fun little animations for every Mario form? I get that would have taken time, but like, that would have been funny! Like, seeing a little Goomba Mario jump up, and it's like, you got a moon! <laughs> Bro, they're all in this room? Okay, I guess I'll have to look harder. Wait a minute. Ow. I'll have to look harder. Oh, crap. Wait, do I still need Ranger? Crap. Why did I get Tornado?
Not responding enemy abilities is a problem in this game. Just saying. I don't think there's any left. They clearly want me to break all the targets, but they didn't bring it back. Okay. There better be. Oh, what? Oh, wow. No, I think I killed them all. They're all gone. I'm too far in the level now to quit, so... I'll just say screw it. spots that they were before in, so, like, there's nothing here. They're all dead. They're all gone. Not a ranger in sight. Yeah, nothing here. Well, that's good. Yeah, it probably is pretty short. Tornado is pretty helpful here. Oh, I hear a waddle I know what they want me to do. At least I thought I did. Wait, what? How do I get that? Huh? Oh, the ring. I don't usually get to use a mouthful mode ability this extensively in a level, so it's fun. Now there's a ranger. Thank you, ranger. Oh, 
I like those monkey guys from Kirby 64. Oh wow, this is a, norm a really fast to beat level, even without uh, freaking... Uh, while trying to do the normal things in the level. Oh wow, what is this? Like a resort? That's pretty cool. Yo. Fitting. Kirby gained the mysterious mouthful. Okay. Now he can stop an entire metal ring into his mouth and use it for boating. Use blast the bear to move your boat and slam into enemies. It can even bust through cracked walls. Oh, Oasis, that looks good. Wow, this, these desert levels look really cool. And a Ouija for no reason in particular. Just cause it's Waluigi, man. Actually, no, why Waluigi? That doesn't make any sense. Actually, doesn't matter. I just wish they gave me free powers like in Robobot. They gave me a cake. I don't know where all the freaking targets are. I need help finding them. I know there was one around here, but I forget where it is. 
Maybe I need to use the ring to find more of them. Far right, huh? Surely not up here, though. I need the ring to find one of them. Bruh, that guy's just sitting in coins. I swear I saw one around here, but I can't find it now. I forgot how far this gets to me. Okay, be right back.
I don't care right now. And back. Oh, I didn't notice the mic wasn't off, but it's whatever. I didn't say anything of note. Gigant is a stupid name. Gigant. Whatever it is. Oh, it's another enemy gauntlet, too. Just use the regular swings. You can't even do a spin attack with this. Oh, a hammer. Let's go. Wonder where Scoop is. Oh, yo, that's cool. Bruh, it's a tower. Ah, oh, crap. That probably took too much time, but it's fine. It's fine. Ah, damn it. This is reminding me of that freaking tower level from Captain Toad, and it's giving me PTSD, because that one is annoying to get the missions on. That game has its missions too, bro. That was easy. That was easy. They're making baby levels now. Nothing. 
Okay, next level. We are going in the oasis. I don't know why, but this is giving me Lego Star Wars vibes. Like when you're on Tatooine in episode 4 and you're like doing stuff. I don't know. Really reminded me of Lego Star Wars. Poison everywhere. That's my question. This must be the work of Spirit from Mario Odyssey. Oh god, what the vor? The vor. I don't approve of this. level where they want me to use Naughty. Yep. Knew it. I would have tried that anyway because, I mean... Bruh, they have the nerve to respawn that Naughty, but they don't have the nerve to respawn the Rangers. The nerve. That, I say, boom. Oh my god, what the... Okay, that's what's doing all that. Wait a minute, aren't those enemies from one of the DS games? They look familiar. Or maybe they're just completely new and they're, they kind of resemble them. I don't know. I've never had a good enemy like that. A lot of cutter here. It's basically the curvy version of Pokies. Crash Bandicoot 3 vibes. Freaking dun 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 da dun 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 da. Oh, wait, no, that's not the right song. Um. Dun dun dun. 
Dun, da, da, dun, or whatever. The freaking Arabian levels. Those are cool. Yeah, they definitely ring a bell. Those weird eyeball guys. Yeah, what's this? Bruh, did I just save two Ds? At once. Yeah, what's this? Wait, is this where I need to go to progress? Where am I? Where am I? Okay, I have to get out of here. I might have missed something. Dang. Can't go back. I might have missed the secret. I went too far. I didn't even mean to. I wish games made it more obvious that there was... Oh, okay. Well, surely I didn't miss anything cool, right? I don't know. I see what you're trying to say. Wait, what? Okay, there has to be like water or something around here. Yeah, there. Oh, okay. That's what I thought. Since it's a desert. And it's time to use Daisy. Oh, bruh. You know what? That is a good point. I do have Ganondorf, so I will use him next time. Oh, yo. Wait a minute. Is he anywhere else? You know, the water one is kind of weird, because that's the only thing that's not an object.
getting some freaking Mario and Luigi vibe because this reminds me of when I used to just travel all the levels all the time to get freaking beans everywhere. Like, I just look for beans in all the areas of the game. And, like, partners in time. Wait, bro, are you kidding me? I thought it would just respawn. game's definitely taken some cues from Mario, which is fine, because, you know, Mario and Kirby are both very good series. The frog is gone for good. He's gonna pull out a water shooter. Oh, there we go. All these in one. I like how in this game, using all your happy abilities actually feels like a progression of the, like, level design. Like, the level you're playing. And not just, like, they're all just kind of there. Like, because I feel like that's a thing, not a problem in the other Kirby games, but they, they're never all fully fleshed out. In this game, like, all the abilities... Oh, are you freaking kidding me? I knew I was gonna miss something like that eventually. Well, we are gonna go hunting, boys. The hunt is on, boys! Oh, I must have forgot to go here. Oh, he kind of tells me where it is.
Hold up a second. Yes. Okay, I'm, I'm alive. He looks like Dog Brown with his frickin' helmet. Ooh, how pretty. Ouch. And sharp. Release the button while rolling to launch spiky crystals in front of you. You also roll longer and leave spikes in your wake. Yo, that's actually sick. It goes quite a while before it slows down. Oh, yo, it shoots spikes, too. That's sick. See, like, they made throwaway abilities like Needle and Ice and even Tornado actually fun in this game. You gotta appreciate that, man. Like, in most games, Neil is just, eh, it's okay. And Bob's pretty fun, too. Even though it's not one of my favorites. We will go rolling. Remember how it was in uh, Robo Robot? I mean, or uh, Triple Deluxe? To me, it's always just been kind of a not as good fire. So, mm. yeah, the Waddle Dee said it was um, near the beginning of the stage. So I will look for it. Yo, this is so fast. The speed runs with this ability are gonna be insane. Now I wonder if there's like a difference between speed runs where the game's like already beat. Like you need to play a good way into the game to have this ability. Or like there's speed runs where they allow stuff from like later in the game to be used. For like more idealized faster routes. Cause like this thing could like really improve speed runs, I think. If it, it could be used earlier too. Like just have a already hundred percent in save file run or something, I don't know.
Oh, so around here somewhere. I'm gonna look. Well, it's not down there, that's for sure. Oh, you know what? It's probably where I missed... Where I fucking... Where I, uh, freaking accidentally... Skipped. Um... The third tornado upgrade, or the first one? Oh, wait, no. I don't know where it is, actually. It's not over there. Hmm... Not over here, either. Oh, yo. I didn't even see that. Buzzsaw Cutter. No wonder Cutter was so prominent in this stage early on. Bruh. You know what? Screw you, Poison, trying to ruin my fun. Man, these short stages are actually really short once you get down to it. But the fun. I feel like, you know, they take a while when you're playing and then actually trying to do things, and then they're pretty short when you're just running around, which could be good for both regular players and speedrunners alike. Like, I don't know how they do it. Like, they actually made a level that's full of content, like, and it takes a while to do the content, but it's also, like, if you're just skipping everything, it's super short. I've never really seen anything like that. Quite impressive, to be honest. Designers at Hell were pretty good with this one. Back to the town again. I don't see why I have to do that pan around every time, the freaking... ...thing is there. Almost got all my abilities up to level three, but does sleep have three levels? That's my question, because it better have three levels, man. It's not even at level two yet. Yo. I like that hat. Oh my god, he... He's freaking Metal Man for Mega Man. Watch out, everybody! It's the Metal Blade! Um, how does freaking Metal Man scene go again? I wanna look... I wanna sing that right now. Metal Man theme Mega Man. Oh yeah. Moment. This is cool. Yo. Hyperblade. What's the buzz, cuz? This cutter evolution is increased power and flying distance. It'll also ricochet off walls, so aim carefully to send an extra bar. Clink, clink, buzz. 
Man, I love the little sound effects. It has that classic Kirby description charm. Face. Honestly, now that this is like fully powered up, I might want to use it against bosses. Cause like, I like the Shackram counter, but like, I feel like that's still too risky. This thing is awesome. Right here. Because the blades go, like, pretty far, and it's strong. Let's test it on this guy. Dragon fire. Does this mean I get to fly everywhere? Sounds fun. What the hell? Oh, wait. Oh god, this looks annoying. One slip up. Bruh. This frickin'. Um, what is it called? Uh. Ah, uh, domino, um, chain effect. I don't, I forget what you call those. Oh no. I am fully prepared for that target time then. One minute? Oh man, oof. Well, time to kick some ass. God damn it. Maybe I should just try to beat it first. You know, figure out how to optimize it. Rolling stones. I don't see how you could get a bad time on this, though. I mean, you're literally just waiting for the fire the whole time, right? Oh, yeah, then again, you can speed it up at the end, but, like... So I guess that factors in your way, but... No, no! Okay, you know what? Just beating this is freaking annoying, man. Oh, 
Oh, alright. I think I'll try to beat this and then I'll stop, because I need to have dinner soon anyway. But, uh, thank you for joining, next. It was great having you again. Rolling stars. Oh, actually, I need to go this way. Okay, I'm pretty ahead of the curve here. Kirby! God damn it! Okay, this level sucks. This will be my final challenge for the day. Actually, I think I'll just stop here. Good place to stop. I think it'll be better when it's fresh tomorrow. I don't know. Don't feel like playing this right now. I'm gonna stop for now, but it was fun. GG's, everybody.